All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. So in the Wanderers update, we got to see a new type of platform that kind of looks like a game board. It's called the figurine platform. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the stone figurines. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, here you can see the figurine platform. Now, you can unlock that with 6,000 bytes. It costs one iron, two steel, and one aluminum alloy to actually build. And also, the exodynamic holographic figurine. The holographic figurine can be unlocked with 3,000 bytes. It costs one plastic to make, and you can build it in your backpack. Now, these holographic pieces can be put on the board to create either a chessboard or a checker set. While the holographic pieces are nice and they're easy to build with one piece of plastic, they're really not the best looking pieces for the board. So you can actually find stone figurines to go on to this figurine platform. There are special lapis and jasper versions of these stone pieces found on two different planets. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to find them. So it's time to jump into your favorite shuttle of choice. Make sure you grab yourself at least one hydrazine jetpack and have plenty of hydrazine with you and take off. Our first stop is gonna be DeSolo. Now the Wanderers update is nothing but a big giant scavenger hunt. Whether you're hunting for satellites or you're trying to look for the stone figurines, it's the same concept. While the satellites, you have a, a scanner and you're scanning for these satellite signals. With the stone figurines, you're kind of just on your own. So this is where your jetpack comes in. Your objective with the jetpack is to fly as low to the ground as you can. And you're looking for these abnormal kind of rocks. Now, I don't typically like to fly around just with the hydrazine and on my backpack because I'm eventually going to run out of oxygen. So I like to take the shuttle with me and scan the ground. This is a difficult process at first. These pieces are hard to find. But once you start coming across them and finding them, they're not too hard to identify after that point eventually you're going to come across something that just doesn't quite look normal on the solo and there it is your first stone figurine piece now the process of finding more is just getting back out there and continuing to keep looking now keep in mind that on a chessboard there are two sets of 16 pieces so you're going to have to do a lot of looking around. I have been told and read that you can find them not only on the surface, but also in the cave system. And I think probably some of the higher quality pieces like the king and the queen might be down in the caves. Not 100% sure about that, but you know, you're going to have to get out there and look. I think the placement of these pieces is 100% random every time you start over again. So there's really no rhyme or reason or clear and concise way as to how and where you're going to find these pieces. You know, the coolest thing about the Wanderers update is this concept of this scavenger hunt and really wandering around. Like I said, the best way to travel is to get yourself a single jetpack, a bunch of hydrazine, and just fly around with your shuttle looking for these pieces. As you get low on oxygen, you drop down to the ground, refill up your oxygen tanks, take off again, continue to keep looking. When you're done with your lapis pieces, it's time to go to Novus to find the Jasper pieces. The concept is the same, just get out grab your shuttle and start flying around and looking. Now, I have to say that on Novus, it's a lot harder to find the pieces than it is on DeSolo. I found them significantly quicker on DeSolo. They were easier to identify and they were more abundant than they were on Novus, but they're there. You just have to look for them. Now, 
Now, not everybody knows how a chessboard is configured, so you might not know what pieces you're looking for. So from left to right, respectively, you're gonna need one king, one queen, two bishops, two knights, two rooks, and eight pawns. That makes up the 16 pieces that you'll need for one side of the board. So just remember you're getting 16 pieces in Lapis and 16 pieces in Jasper. And happy hunting. All right, so that was my video on trying to find the stone figurines or the figurine platform. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We've got a great community here. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below. Remember to hit that notification bell so you can find out when I go live and see any of my new videos that come out. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.